Are you saying now that the whole world, this whole time has been lying to you? That your body or your 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 body can only utilize a certain amount of protein? Well, I, I, I wouldn't want to give my body 300 grams of protein in one sitting. Now, that's a lot of, that's, I mean... Again, I, I gotta say this again and last night I Whatever I said yesterday triggered some people because when I woke up this morning uh, The team said we had a lot of signups for the Titan crew So that's I guess that more than anything else. That's great. I, I don't know what I said to get you guys to Go hey, it's time to get in shape or, or time to get back on track and motivated and stay on a program but whatever I said, I'm going to go back and watch and see what, so I continue to say those kind of things to keep you guys going and get motivated. Um, I will be working today and I will be working tomorrow on all the plans for my one-on-one uh, -on -one clients. And then on Monday and Tuesday, you guys know Titan check-ins for the Titan crew. Hopefully you guys are all part of the Titan crew. Remember, don't lighten up, tighten up. If you guys are on my plans, please remember, if anybody is on the Titan meal plan, or any of my fit plans or my website Titan crew is free you guys get to talk to me every day whenever you want put down your messages we're gonna chat um, so make sure you guys know that you can do that and I'll be doing that all year long uh, what else we got let me see if I got any questions over here that I can answer in the meantime while we're on here Uh, how is America? I do not know. I went dark on social media or watching the news uh, as of last night, so I don't know how bad it is today. Um, I just see that there's a lot of hate in the world, and we are trying to remove ourselves from that hate because uh, we're not hateful people. Um, just think everybody should be treated the same. Hi guys, uh, here's a, here's a great one because I know everybody's into salt lately. I don't I don't really salt my food up too much. Um, I just keep it as is. I know a lot of people um, are like salting their food up tremendously. Um, I don't. So when it comes to health and fitness and nutrition and stuff, there's probably a, a portion of this that I want you to use common sense on. Okay. Um, this is, you want to? Yeah. This is a video. So. Let me clue you up on what is asked. Um, and this is an interesting, an interesting statement because you're going to get a lot of, um, again, your experts saying that it's just, it's just as long as you get your macros in, you're fine. Except that here's something that I know that for me or or. or the guys that have been around for 30, 40 years doing this, it's not about just getting your macros in. Um, it really isn't. Um, so I'm going to give you a hypothetical. And what's the question? The question, I'm sorry about that. Do you think uh, timing meals really matters? So I grew up with the concept and understanding, and I still do today, is eat every two to three hours. It's almost like a baby. A baby you're taught eats every two to three hours, and you want to continue that pattern. Um, his second portion of that statement is, does timing really matter? Or, as long as you get your macros in, you're fine. Now, I know the new generation uh, is all about macros and about just get them in, you're fine. So I'm going to give you a couple of quick scenarios that's going to make you... It, this may feel like a slap across the face, but as soon as you hear it and understand it, you're going to go, wow, I'm angry that people even say that stuff. Okay, here I am. I get up in the morning, I have a meal. Why is that? I want to trigger the metabolism to start functioning and the body functions off of nutrition. Um, and the reason I can keep more muscle mass and keep healthy and, and continue to train a longer period of time is I feed my body properly. I'm not destroying it. And so I'll eat again every two to three hours and then I'll train and I'll eat again. And I'll eat up until bedtime and I'll go to sleep. Now in between these meals, when I'm eating, I'm eating between 30 and 60 grams of protein. 60 grams seems like a lot, doesn't it? A lot of people are going to say 60 grams is too much to have at one meal. Stay with me, because here comes the slap. So I go through the day like this, and then at that meal, I'll have about 50 grams of carbohydrates. Um, after a workout, I'll have about 100 grams of carbohydrates. And before the workout, I'll have about 100, 150 grams of carbohydrates. Again, seems like a lot, right, for those meals? Well, at the end of the day, I've taken this whole calorie 
and, and separate it into smaller meals where the body could utilize it and utilize it the best it can. Now here's the other side of that. Now people are saying, just get your macros in. Doesn't matter about timing. So what you're saying is, and again, it's an interesting statement, is that you can wake up. Now, you guys all understand this, that when you sleep, your body's recovering. It's using whatever nutrients you have to recover and, and heal the body. Also, hormones are released only when you sleep, certain hormones that are released only when you sleep to help recover. Then you wake up in the morning, your body did its job, it's fed, it, 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 it slept, it did everything, now we're gonna start the day, and it wants to be given nutrients, and you say, no, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not gonna feed you right now, I'm gonna hold off. Now understand that your body is a beautiful, beautiful vessel that is made to protect you and keep you alive. I'll explain that after the end here. So you skip it and you go through the afternoon. Not gonna feed it. You know why? Because I heard you burn body fat if you don't eat. Okay. Um, you also burn muscle when you don't eat. Um, and also there's a chance you're gaining or retaining fat because your body needs nutrients and you're not giving it to it. So you're just retaining your fat and it's eating your muscle because that's how your body functions. But let's say that doesn't happen. Let's say you're the, this incredible fine-tuned machine and it's just eating fat and you go through this day and then you get to the end of the day and you go, I'm going to have my macros now. I've heard this. This is an incredible thing. I'm not going to eat until 5 o'clock at night and then I'm going to have a big dinner and go to bed and I'll be fine. So you get to dinner and you have your macros, which is, I don't know, 2,500 calories, which isn't a lot. That's for somebody that's on a deficit. How does your body utilize 2,500 calories in one meal? Are you saying now that the whole world, this whole time has been lying to you, that your body or your, your, your body can only utilize a certain amount of protein every couple hours, and now suddenly it can take in 300 grams of protein in one sitting? Doesn't that seem like just, I mean, just basic knowledge, just, just the understanding of how the body functions, doesn't that seem that it's not real? Or it doesn't function that way? Well, I, I, I wouldn't want to give my body 300 grams of protein in one sitting. Now, that's a lot of, that's, I mean, that's just not common sense to, to even think that that's a feasible thing for your body to do. And on top of that, hey, you know what? I did my workout earlier today, did my work day. I'm not stressed no more. I'm relaxed now. I'm going to take in 400 grams of carbohydrates because my body's going to burn it off. Well, wait a minute, how's your body going to burn it off? You're done with work, you're done with the day, now you're relaxed, you're going to eat your meal, and you're going to go to bed in a couple hours. What's your body going to burn it off? Is it going to utilize all 400 grams uh, during sleep? I mean, because you guys complain about, well, I'm eating too much carbohydrates and you're only taking in 100 grams. But now if you're at 2,500, which is a deficit, you're going to start playing with your numbers, you're going to start going crazy. Well, I don't eat 400 grams of carbohydrates, do you eat 200? Do you eat 100 grams? I mean, what is the purpose of the nutrition if you are slicing and dicing and doing a, not even a macro base, because the macro base is meals throughout the day spread out nicely. Don't assume that it's all one meal. Um, and that's what the point here was. The point here was, is timely meals, listen, if this makes no sense to you and you're still confused, your body can only utilize so much and it's how much you teach your body to use. Through the years, Here's something. Uh, everybody says that your body can only utilize to the most 30 grams of protein every two to three hours. Well, here's the beautiful thing. Not everybody's created equal, not even close to being equal. And if you do think that everybody's created equal, you're a snowflake. Um, we're not. Uh, there's guys that are 10 times better athletes and can utilize and build muscle faster than I can. And then there's guys that do less. And there's girls that are like Mona, and Mona can actually technically do more calories than I can do. So again, settle on these kind of things. Uh, if you're being lazy and you just go, hey, I want to believe in this fasting, I want to believe in the macros at one portion of time I can do that, that's fine, go ahead and do that. Um, but I wouldn't preach it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that until you get into that incredible shape and maintain that for five or six years. Um, can you do something once and it work for you? Sure you can. Uh, can you do something for a year and it work for you? Sure you can. Can you do it? Can you sustain? Can you 
Oh, wow, can't even say the word. Can you sustain that for a, 10 years, 20 years? Can you get better within 10 and 20 years? That's the whole point of my YouTubes and, and videos is trying to teach you, don't make the mistakes that I did when I was 20. Try to incorporate in what I'm teaching you now. Uh, you'll be 10 times better than I am today. And you should be 10 times better than I am today at 25 years old, um, not 50. So hopefully that helps you guys out. But yeah, just going back to that, you know, time those meals out. Eat and feed the body correctly. Do not wait until you're so starving. Um, stop fasted cardio. Stop fasted weight training. Because um, I'm not worried about what you're like today. I'm worried about what you're going to be like in five years. All right, guys. Hopefully that answers your question to the point. Are you satisfied, Jeffrey? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, again, the slap in the face is that you honestly thought that you could have 100 to 200 grams of protein in one sitting and your body utilizes it. And that's the whole concept about timely. You need to time out your meals. You need to plan your meals. Uh, there's no way around that. At some point, you've got to have a discipline of doing this stuff. All right, guys?